With more name, we should probably have a name. So copy this, paste it. Instead of being 1, you want to change this to whatever time in the day is 1. It might be, well, instead of 1, it might be 12. But in our case, it just has to be higher than morning. We can only go up to 6. If you go over 6, it's not going to work because we set our days to only be 6 hours long. This is where it's customizable. So in my case, 3 is going to be noon. So if equal is noon. If less than, it's still morning. If greater than, do nothing. Here, create is noon. Like morning, we'll need a bool. Let's see if it'll paste. Yep. Is morning will be false. Do leave this here. Do you have is morning in both of these? In this case, we want the morning to toggle off. I don't want a new variable, I want a new global variable, so that way our whole game, our NPCs, our time clocks and managers and other things, our weather systems, all over the game will know if it's noon. Good enough. Then copy this, go back to morning, paste it. We want noon to be off and morning to be on. I think you get the idea, you should be able to go back here. I want that to be over there, okay. And you would, if you want night or other times of the day, duplicate this and set it to an hour that's less than six, say four. And then if it is equal to four, it will now be is night and you create the same variables and go about it. Now we need this to loop back around because otherwise it'll just get stuck here. It'll flow down here and get stuck. And one easy way to do it when you're still in the testing phase or don't have anything else to connect is add a waiter, add a ridiculously num low number, and this will be keep counting. So it'll loop back. Ta-da! We've already made it all the way through hours, now we need to do days. So day reset. This is where you decide how many days you want in your game to equal a month or a season? So we need to set our hours back to zero and add a day. Add one and do an int compare. Now we're going to see how many days. Oh wow, I called it da. Yes. How many days are going to be one month or one season? So in our case, we're just going to set two because we're in debug mode. We really want to get through this really fast. So if we get that many days, we'll change the season. If less than, keep counting. And if greater than, change the season just to be careful every frame. Keep counting, it needs to loop back around because we have 100 arrows over here. In the future, I'm going to show you how to do better arrow management so you don't have all this, but for now it's fine. Just saves time. So here, change season. This one is going to be slightly different. So we're going to have to do the int set value or set int value of days back to zero of course but now when we do the int add season number your seasons are actually going to be numbered so if you do an interchange between spring and summer you'll have um, the interchange be number two and summer be number three so spring would be one the interchange would be two but in our case we're gonna have four so summer is gonna be two so we're gonna add one and then we're going to do an int compare. And the season number is going to be compared against 1. And if it is equal, it is spring. Dang it. There we are. Is spring. And here you're going to want a bool 
and you're going to want a global bool just like you did over here. So instead of saying it is morning, you're going to want to create a bool that is spring. So and check it. And if it does get here, there is going to be no less than. It will always just be spring because it's adding one. So we'll just say it is still spring. And greater than, we're going to add a new event. A new event called check another season. Is summer? And to compare, do season number to two, and if it's equal then it is summer. If less than, it is technically spring, but I'm not going to add that, we pretty much got it covered. is summer. So same thing as spring, add a bool, and same as this, you want to take the bool that it isn't and also add it. So on this one you want is spring, is summer, uncheck summer, do spring, all your seasons, just do that. There are other ways to do it. This is just a really plain and simple get you thinking like a programmer way to do it, and it does work. It works really, really well. You know, use it. I didn't add summer yet. So summer it is, spring it's not. Now let's test it really quick. It should get stuck on summer. You can see the importance of keeping really low default numbers. Or at least in debugging, take some of your bigger things, like the days, and just crank it up. So that way you don't have to wait too long. Like, go to the variables and set it to the number just before it'll reset. One more, come on. Well, the clock is working. There is another way to do this instead of branching it out individually checking, although this does give you more control over what actually happens. Since this is technically... I'm going to pause this. Since this is technically just checking to see if it is equal or less than, you can technically just leave greater than blank. It won't do anything and then you can duplicate the int compare and in the second int compare just pick a higher number and with less than do nothing or just do equals on each one and don't add um, a less than or greater than then you could put all four seasons into the same state here and branch it out just like you are here the reason I did it the way I did was to show you that there's multiple ways of doing something and coming to the same answer. Like this, you can still loop back around. You'll have to figure out where to loop it, and I'll leave that to you to figure out. So if you branch it out, then it's the same. Once you get to five seasons, you'll want to add one more int compare. And here, on this last int compare, oh, I didn't unpause it, I reset it. On the last int compare, you will want to compare it to five because it's, it'll finish the last season, or however many seasons you have, add one extra number, it'll finish that last season, and then when it switches to the new number, then you'll want it to go into the state of year. Here you want to reset the seasons, the same way you did on all of these, reset the seasons back to zero, and add one year, 
and then you can test to see which year it is to change your global variables. Like, is it morning, is it noon, is it summer, what year is it? And that global variable will let your game know that a special event is supposed to happen, for example. So that's how you can tie your clock into the rest of the parts of your game. And please ask if you have any questions. I would love to make more videos on this subject.